So this is the ROG Project Avalon. And what we did with this machine is we're trying to change the DIY market to make it a, a lot more easy. And so what, what we've done with this is we've tried to design the motherboard with the case together. And by doing this, we can eliminate the uh, compatibility issues between the motherboard and this case. And so what we've been able to do currently is if you, for example, take a look at the top, you can see that the motherboard has been raised towards the exterior of the case, so you have easy access to the CPU and easy access to the DRAM and easy access to the M.2. So this is all very easy to reach. On the left side over here, we have the VGA compartment, which has been separated so that you can assemble the VGA uh, very easily and access it very easily. On the left side, we have the cooling area, which you can put either two 120 millimeter fans or a 240 uh, millimeter AIO for uh, water cooling, if that's your uh, preference. On the front over here, to install the SSD, you pull out this tray, you insert the SSD, and you stick it back in and it's installed. To uninstall, you pull it out, and you're done. On the back here, we have the uh, IO module. And so what you have is, you have the swappable IO modules that allow you to uh, pick the connectivity options that's best for you. And so this is the workstation module, and what it actually features is, you see dual LAN on the front, which is nice to have, but then there's this big empty space. The reason for this big empty space is actually the uh, board itself, if you look at it, it'll actually have an M.2 on board, which will allow you to run PCI RAID with the onboard M.2. Aside from this, we will also have two other modules. This would be the virtual reality module, which features many more uh, USB ports for uh, attaching all the peripherals that you would like to attach. Audio home theater module, which will feature circuitry that's, um, uh, that's for a high-end audio for better sound quality in your home theater. Finally, the uh, power supply of this PC is uh, completely uh, cableless. And what it does is it's a standard 600 watt SFX PSU. And if you take a look at the internal structure, we have this onboard connector which is used for server grade uh, power supplies. And what we've done with the 600 watt power supplies, instead of using uh, Molex connectors, we feature an edge connector similar to this. And so when mounted on the motherboard, it just mounts directly like this to provide power to the rest of the system. So it's a very easy to install uh, DIY system that will be good for even novice users.